Welcome back to Jurassic Park 3, the island survival game. Let's begin. Uh, we have Alan and Nash up first. So let's go ahead and roll for them and see how much movement they get. And that's three group. Well, I think everyone's split up right now. Uh, let's see. Nash is here. Alan is here. And they get to move. One of them gets to move three. And I think... Yeah, neither of them is in any great spot to move. But I think we're going to move Alan just two. He's going to go one, two to here. Uh, yeah, and that's not great. Nash is here, but uh, I think we're going to leave him there. And now it's time for the dinosaurs to get a roll. So let's see what they do. And one can move three. All right. And Alan and Nash are completely healed right now. One dinosaur can move three spaces. And unfortunately, I think for Billy, uh, one, two, this dinosaur is going to fly over here and attack Billy. So it looks like we have two battles that are going to happen. We have Amanda with one raptor, and we have Billy with the Pteranodon. So let's go ahead. We're going to do Amanda first. All right, so we have Amanda. And what's going to happen? She only has two hit points left. The raptor is chewing on her. And, okay, it looks like we have our next snack for the dinosaur. She did not escape. She takes two damage. That's all she had left. Amanda, unfortunately, is no more. She has been absorbed by that dino or the dinosaur. The raptor has taken her out. All right, well, we know that. We removed her from the board. Up next is poor Billy with that uh, pteranodon. So is he going to escape or is he going to get snacked on? And oh, unfortunately for him, he does not escape. He's going to take one damage. So that's going to knock him down only to one hit point. And unfortunately, because he's in the uh, pteranodon section, he's going to get taken back to the nest. They just don't want to let him go. Let's go back to the board. Well, what can I say? Billy's right down here. He gets picked up by this drawn it on and flown back to the nest to be fed to the little ones i'm sure so there's billy in the nest that's just too bad for him all right up next is going to be paul uh, and he has three hit points left he is right here looks like he has a bit of a clear go of it now uh, we'll see what happens oh yes a great a great roll for him uh paul gets to move one so i think he is going to move one step here. All right, back to the dinosaurs. They really get to go uh, quickly, don't they? Oh, yeah, dinosaur turn. And all of them get to move one space. So the raptor here is going to move in the space with Alan. And we're going to have, of course, the flying ones move one here. And, of course, just off camera, another one here. And we're going to leave that one with Billy. So that is going to be all of the dinosaur movement. So we're going to have two more attacks. We're going to have Alan with a raptor and poor Billy sitting in the nest uh, being fed to the little ones. So let's do Alan first, then Billy. All right, we're going to roll for Alan. He is undamaged. He is now tangling with a raptor. And boy, he's lucky. He rolls a two escape. So let's go over to the board and he's going to get to run away two spaces. All right, so here's Alan with his raptor here. He gets to move two spaces. One, two, he's going to move to there. So unscathed. Up next, Billy in the nest. All right, Billy only has one hit point left. So basically he has to escape. He has a 50-50 chance. And he does not escape. He becomes baby Pteranodon snack food. So, sorry Billy, you're gone. So the team of Billy and Udeski is no more. Uh, he has been, they have been eliminated. So if we were playing a true four player game, that player who was playing the Billy Udeski team would be finished. All right, we're going to go back now. It would have been Billy's turn. But now we're going to jump to Alan and Nash. All right, so we get Nash here, move Alan here, and get to roll the die and see what's going to happen. And another one movement. Wow. Uh, hmm. I think we're going to have Nash move one space over here. So we still have some Raptor Zone activity and the Pteranodon section. 
And up next, of course, is the dinosaurs. And they roll, one can move one space. So it doesn't look like they can get anywhere. And I think we're going to move this one one space closer to here. That's it. Up next is Paul. And Paul is right here. And what does he get? He gets a one. Well, he might as well move one space to here. And or does he want to do that? Yeah, he's going to do that. He's going to do that. And he gets to draw a card. This is our first card drawn from here. And what does he get? Uh, if you have arrived here by escaping a dino, draw again. Well, he hasn't, so he does not get to roll again. Which means, yep, it is time now for the dinosaurs to roll. And one of them can move three. And what does the dinosaur player want to do with that? One of them can move three spaces, eh? Hmm. Well, we could... We can basically reach anybody. Paul is the most wounded. He's the farthest along. So I think we're just going to move this one, Coronadon, right here into Paul's space. And we're going to have that battle. Now remember, if you get hit by a Tronodon in this area, you go back to the nest. So let's go to the dice tray, and we'll roll up that one attack. All right, Paul being attacked by a Tronodon. He does not escape, unfortunately for him. He only takes one damage. That puts him down to two. However, he does get taken back to the nest. So let's go back to the board. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, up next will be Alan and Nash. All right, bad luck for Paul. He got hit for one. He gets taken back to the nest, uh, where he finds Billy's remains being gnawed on by little baby ones. And that's all that's going to happen to him. So up next, the unscathed Alan and Nash team. Wow, they have done extremely well. Uh, and they get to roll now for movement again. Three group. Well, there is no group, but one of them can move three spaces. And I have a feeling, uh, I think we're just going to move, oh boy, what are we going to do? I think we're going to move Alan, one, two, and three. You're going to have Alan and Nash are going to get back together. I think that's what they're going to do. And so up next is the dinosaur roll. One can move three. So that was actually a good plan for them. Uh, this guy can't go past the wall here. So he can go one, two, and he'll go three. Try and block off their path. And yep, we're going to have the one attack now. Paul in the nest being chewed on by the baby. So let's go roll the dice and see if Paul can escape or, or is he going to get uh, either killed or damaged. All right, Paul is being attacked. Is he going to escape? Well, he does not escape, but he only takes one damage, but that's going to put him down to his last hit point uh, in the nest. It's He's up next. Is he able to escape? Well, let's find All out. All right, so Paul's up here in the nest. He gets to roll the die for movement so obviously he will be able to escape it's just how far can he get <laughs> he gets a roll of one so he gets to move one space out of the nest so he's crawling out of the nest in horror uh, with billy's remains still there so that's it now back of course to the dinosaur so things going pretty quickly here dinosaurs get to roll one of them gets to move two spaces and i think we're going to leave this guy here and unfortunately for Paul, one of these guys is going to leave the nest and track him down again. So now, yep, yeah, we're going to have another battle here um, and see if Paul's going to survive or is he going to be eliminated. All right, well, this could be it, Paul. Two escape. So with one health point left, he gets a two escape. So let's go run him All right, away. So fleeing in terror, uh, he gets to go two spaces, one, two. Not looking good. All right, up next uh, is um, going to be the team of Alan and Nash, who are totally unscathed. And they roll a three group. So they can move up to three spaces as a group. And, yeah, they are in trouble. What are they going to do? Hmm. I think, I think they're going to chance it. They're going to both move into the... Or are they? 
Um, no, Alan's going to stay back. Nash is going to go ahead to the draw card space. So he's going to draw a card. And well, what does he get? He gets rest. Each character on this space receives one chip. So they basically get a health point back. And Alan and Nash are both fully healed. So they don't get a health point back because they don't need it. Well, Nash doesn't need it. And that's the end of that. So now, of course, up next is the dinosaur turn. One all. Well, yep, he's going to move right here with Nash. And this one's going to come a little farther in the hunt for fresh meat out there. And now we're going to have one battle. We're going to have Nash being attacked by a Tronodon. So let's see what happens to Nash. Maybe he's going to get taken back to the All right, Nash. Let's we'll see what you can do. Wow, he is lucky. He rolls a two escape. Nash gets to run. So let's go ahead and move him. All over. right, Nash escapes. He gets to move two. So he's going to go one, two. And he's right on the border of getting into the next section. However, it is now dinosaur time. See what they're going to do. Rolls a two. Well, this one is not going to let him go. One, two. It's going to try to catch him right here. And there's going to be another battle. All right, let's see if Nash can get lucky second time. Oh boy. Yep. Looks like the team of Nash and Alan doing very well. He gets a three escape. So he gets to motor. Let's go ahead and have him run away. All right, so here's Nash being attacked. He gets away. He gets to move three spaces and he's going to go one, two, three up here. And that's the end of the dinosaur turn. Up next is Paul. And so I may have to rearrange the dice here. Uh, well, no, actually we don't have to. Paul is right there. Let's go ahead and roll for his movement. He rolls a three group. So he can move three spaces. And he's just going to move one. He's going to draw a card. Maybe he'll get lucky and get a good card. So he's going to go to the draw card space. He gets, coast is clear, move any character behind you to this space. Well, he doesn't want to. Uh, and I don't know if you have to, but it does say move any character behind you to this space. So it kind of sounds kind of mandatory, doesn't it? The only one behind him is Alan. Alan has to move there. Now, if you get moved to a space to draw a card, you don't draw a card. It's only on your turn. So Alan's not going to draw a card. Now they're both there. Well, dinosaur turn once again. We'll see what happens. Off the camera a little bit. Rolled a three. And that's pretty good. So we're going to leave this one here. And we're going to move this one, one, two. And we're going to have this Tronosaur, Tronodon attack Alan and Paul. So let's do, uh, let's do Alan first and then Paul. All right, Alan being attacked first. Two escape. What a totally lucky, lucky uh, duo these guys are. So Alan gets to escape two spaces, up to two spaces. Let's wow. go ahead and Alan is lucky. He gets to move up to two spaces. One, he's just going to move one. It gets him out of dinosaur zone. If he moves two, he's going to be stuck here with this Tronodon, so he's not going to. They're up next anyway. And so next up for the attack is Paul. If he gets hit for any damage, he's done. Well, Paul is being attacked. Will he survive? And the answer to that question is no, he will not. He did not roll an escape. He only had one hit point left. Sorry, Paul, you are also eliminated. Uh, now, the, the Pteranodon does not move back to the nest if it actually successfully eats somebody in its space. So it's going to stay there. Up next, and I think I'm going to leave it off after that, we're going to have the Allen and Nash totally healed team. We might as well move them down here so we can see them. Uh, take one more turn, and that's going to be it for this episode. All right, we're going to end the episode off here with uh, Allen and Nash going. They're the only two left. Uh, everyone else has been eaten. Now, Eric's out here hiding somewhere. We haven't found him yet. Uh, maybe we won't. Now, let's go ahead and roll and see what we get. Three groups. So one of them, because we're not in a group, gets to move three spaces. And where and who is going to get to move? Well, I think I think we're going to have to have Alan move, because we don't want him caught by any uh, Pteranodons anymore. So he's going to go 
one, two, three spaces to here. And now the only dinosaur that can move, of course, is this uh, Spinosaurus because he, our group is now in this zone. So it's going to be dinosaur move, and that's going to end the episode. So let's see how far and where the Spinosaurus is going to move. Spinosaurus gets to move two spaces, and he's going to cut him off at the pass. So he's going to go one space to here, and one space to there. And that is going to conclude this episode. Well, lots happened this time. Uh, basically, the uh, Billy was finished, Amanda was finished, and so was Paul. So wow, the dinosaur is doing extremely well. In this episode, however, Nash and Alan both completely unscathed, which is pretty strange, but they've managed to get this far uh, without any issues. And so they just have to get through this water zone with the one uh, spiky saurus here, get to the beach, try and get to the draw card, and end up one of them getting off the beach. So Either Alan or Nash may get off the beach in the helicopter. They might get eaten as well. All right, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking my videos. If you do, join me next time for the continuation, uh, possibly the conclusion, of Jurassic Park 3, this island survival game. Thanks a lot for watching along.